In this session, let us learn how to create drawing objects and change its properties. We shall learn how to use the drawing toolbar and the drawing object properties toolbar. First, let's see how to open the drawing toolbar. There are two ways in which the drawing toolbar can be opened. They are by clicking on the view menu, choose toolbars and drawing or by simply clicking on the show draw functions in the standard toolbar. The drawing toolbar has around 17 options in it. They are select, line, rectangle, ellipse, freeform line, text, callouts, basic shapes, symbol shapes, block arrows, flowcharts, callouts, stars, points, font work gallery, insert picture from file, extrusion, on or off. To use the drawing toolbar, we need to click anywhere in the document where we want the object to be anchored. Select the appropriate tool from the drawing toolbar. You can see that the mouse pointer changes like this. Select, click, drag and drop the drawing objects. To cancel the drawing function, you can press the escape key or click on the select icon on the drawing toolbar. Let us have a demonstration of this. I am opening the text document in Open Office Writer. You can click on the show draw function or click on view, toolbars, drawing toolbar. So this toolbar is again a floating toolbar that could be docked to the standard toolbar. This is the select tool. The line tool which is used to draw a line. Rectangle tool. I'm drawing a rectangle. Ellipse tool. I'm trying to draw on an ellipse. The freeform line tool. As you can see, I can draw freeform line. Now I click on the text tool and write inside the object. I'm writing rectangle. The call outs tool. I can have a call out. Now this is the basic shapes. I have a lot of shapes here. I can use one of them. I have the symbol shapes. I can use one of them here. Block arrows. You have a wide variety of arrows to choose from. Then we have flow charts. All the flow chart symbols are available in this. There is another callout option. I am going to draw the cloud callout. And then we have the stars option. I can choose one of these. Now this is the points option. You click on an object by using select tool. You can find the points getting displayed. Now this is the font work gallery that is similar to the word art that we have in Microsoft Word. I am trying to type hello. Click outside. Now select the object and resize it. Now the next option is from file. You can insert a file inside a drawing object. So select it. Click on from file and choose one picture. The picture gets inserted inside the object. Right. Now the last option is extrusion. If I need to use this particular option then I need a 3D figure. So I am going to draw a cuboid. Now I click on extrusion. I get one more properties where I can change the look of this cuboid. 
So these are the various options that are available in the drawing toolbar. Now let us see the drawing object properties toolbar. We can change the properties of our drawing object like fill color, line type, weight, anchoring, etc. Now this is the drawing object properties toolbar. There are 16 options available in this. They are line, arrow style, line style, line width, line color, area, area style, filling, rotate, to foreground, to background, bring to front, send to back, alignment, change anchor, ungroup and group. We can set the drawing properties using this toolbar before drawing or we can do it after drawing. Now to do it before drawing, let us see the steps. We first need to click on the drawing toolbar on the select tool. Now in the drawing object properties toolbar, you can make changes on the icon for each property and select the appropriate value for that property. Then draw the object. This is an important thing to remember that the changes that you make to these drawing object properties toolbar are available only for that particular session. Once you close Open Office Writer and reopen it, it goes back to the default settings. To change the properties of an existing object after drawing, we can select the object, click on the Select tool in the drawing toolbar and then make the required changes. We can also specify the position and size rotation and slant corner radius properties of the drawing object. To do this, right click on the drawing object and choose position and size. Now in the box that appears, change the properties. Let us have a demonstration of this also. Now this was the set of objects that we had drawn before. Now I am clicking on view insert drawing object properties toolbar. Let me change the properties of the line first. I am clicking on line, changing the arrow style. You can see that the change is getting reflected. Let me make it a dashed line. And let me try to change the color and thickness. So I am making it purple and I am going to change the thickness. Now I am going to select the rectangle tool and fill it with chart in color. I can rotate it by clicking on the rotate option and clicking one of the handles and moving it. I am positioning it over the ellipse tool. If I click to background, it goes to the background. Now I am clicking on bring to front. It comes to the front. I can anchor an image to paragraph to page, to character or as character. Now I'll, let me show you how to group and ungroup. To group and ungroup, we need to select two or more objects and then click on group. Now if I move it, all the objects move together. I can ungroup it so that I can move, move individual objects. Now let's see how the position and size work. I right click on the cube and I click position and size. I have a lot of options here to make changes on position and size. Now in rotation and then in slant and corner radius. So you can make the desired changes to your object. So with that we come to the end of today's session in which we had learned about the drawing toolbar and drawing object properties toolbar that are used to create drawing objects and to change its properties. I hope you have understood the concepts clearly. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.